I'm Jimmy Heisler. I'm a mechanical engineer on the hard parts team at Cobb Tuning. My background is mechanical engineering, systems design. My main focus is developing the hard parts that we might put into our stage packages. Having the passion for cars allows you to work through the times where a job's a job. Understanding that that part is gonna make somebody a little bit happier with their car. In any kind of design engineering sense, you really want to see multiple ways to do things. Just because if you get stuck in your little bubble, they have something called design in a vacuum. And if, if you design in a vacuum, you're just building the parts that you thought about the very first time you ever thought about building these parts. You're not allowing any outside influence to come in and improve your design. A car enthusiast is somebody that wants to make the car their own. I don't want to talk to a bunch of guys who have the same vehicle as me. I want to see what other people are doing on other cars because having something that maybe is a little bit different than the way the other guy did it is what's fun about it. This truck is, is kind of a mishmash of a bunch of different vehicles actually. So this is a 1964 F100 and it's got a Dodge Dakota front suspension. I then took uh, an Iron Block LM753 out of a late model Silverado. The Ford that I came across, I found on Craigslist one day. It was like 3,000 bucks and I was like, that's one I can afford. I can, I can work on that one. Keeping the cost down was a major theme throughout my build. These things can get really expensive really quickly. One thing about working at Cobb is that it's a slippery slope whenever you have a project. You can start to get carried away a little bit, and that's definitely what I did on this one when we found out that Chevy had recalled the ZL1 blower lids. So all of a sudden eBay was flooded with a bunch of inexpensive blower lids. You could get one of these for like 800 bucks and you could add a, add a blower to the top. The ZL1 uh, lid on there with the supercharger below it, one of our calibrators, Mike, ended up tuning it and we made just under 500 wheel horsepower and torque. So. It, it's plenty for the old chassis. I'm sure there are four guys that are watching this that are just cringing right now, but uh, I'm sorry. It was in the name of you know being a cheap ass, and so I hope you'll forgive me. If I had to guess how many hours I've put into this truck, it would probably be a lot more than I want to say on camera. The Suspension work, I always wanted to design my own four link. One of my colleagues had already developed a four link for his own truck and was more than willing to share the, the design with me so that I could adapt it to my specific truck. I think the most challenging part of this build with many is you get to that point where you've almost got the motor mounted and you're, you're working on a few things and then you get distracted by something else that you've gotten recently and, and you want to go play on the track or you want to go do something else. And so just kind of coming back around to focus and finish this, in my case, before our daughter was born, uh, that was a really good motivator to, to get it done because I knew I wasn't going to be able to spend the, as much time in the garage after that. I might have to take the blower off before I give it to my daughter as a hand-me-down.